Hello everyone, my name is Whistler and welcome back to another episode of my Hardcore series. Today, we'll do a complete makeover of this lake. I'll be turning it into a coral reef. What kind of coral reef? Well, it's a custom coral reef. Well, it's always going to be a custom coral reef if I built it outside of an actual coral reef biome. But, you know, it's, I'm going to add my own little touch to this thing. It's not going to look like the default coral reef in Minecraft. But, there might be a couple of default structures in there as well. Now. I do have this much coral blocks and fans and stuff, but I don't think it's enough. And I've also got some netherwood, because I think I would like to use some of those at some point in this episode as well. Goodbye, phantoms. You're unwelcome here. So yeah, it's just, this is quite a big lake. I have I mined out a lot of it last episode, and I've got this random enderman here. <laughs> he, he somehow trapped himself, which is amusing, to say the least. But to start off with, I'm going to have to go around this whole thing with kelp because not every water block in this lake is a source block. So I need to convert the whole thing. So I guess I've got to find where I put that kelp. Here's the kelp. Ah, that's exactly what I wanted. Well, I don't think it's enough, so I'll probably just have to go and harvest some. It shouldn't take too long. It's only going to be like a five minute job. Because kelp is basically the easiest to farm resource in the game. There is nothing this easy to break. And it's to the point where it actually makes your game lag. Because you're just gaining so much of that one item. <laughs> and you could just gain like a, an inventory's worth in like a minute or two. Ah oh yeah, here we go. Just pick all that good stuff up. Uh, hello, baby drowned. I'm going to ignore you for now. <laughs> Right, okay, there we go, that's uh, almost a full inventory full. So, let's get going and planting this along the whole lake. Although, you know what? I'm gonna breed these turtles up a little bit. I think, one thing I think would be cool to have in the lake is a large population of sea turtles. So yeah, let's get some seagrass and uh, we'll breed them up a bit. And sea turtles in particular, because unlike fish, they have a place, a certain location in the world that they will always return to and that is their home beach. So, if I get the turtle eggs and make them hatch in the lake, or somewhere around the lake, then the turtles will always stick around that place forever, which is good stuff. Oh, there we go. Turtle eggs. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you very much. Let's just breed these guys up again, because it's, uh, it's a thing in Minecraft where you can just keep breeding turtles again and again and again, and I don't know why it's like that. It's not exactly consistent with every other mob you can breed in the game, but I'm not going to complain if I can get infinite eggs just by doing this, then let's go, I guess. Ah, uh, there we go. I think I'm going to make these the last eggs. I don't think I need any more than that. <laughs> Although I will breed these turtles again, just so that I have a random growing population in this little pen over here, and then I'll let them free at some point and they can do whatever they want. But yeah, let's just leave them be, I guess. So I actually got quite a lot of turtle eggs for the center. <laughs> 24 turtle eggs, it's just, it's just a good amount. So, to, to make sure these hatch in good locations, I'm going to spread these out throughout the lake. So uh, I'll put two there. And I'll try and make sure that every turtle has a beach with a partner. Like a home beach with a partner, so that they're not, like, lonely, I guess. <laughs> so uh, I'll have t at least two in every location. And I think that'll do just nicely. It'll be enough to make this lake feel alive. But yeah, I need to kelpify the entire thing. So let's get started with that. And hopefully I'll get a, quite a few turtles hatching in the process. Let's go. Right, so I'm going to have to start from the bottom, the very bottom of the lake, because that's where water source blocks form. If the bottom block isn't a water source, then every block above it won't form either. So I'll just do this uh, all the way around until I can just go around the entire edge of the lake elsewhere, I think. And I'll get back to you once this whole thing is done, because this isn't very interesting to watch. And there we go. The whole lake has been kelpified. Isn't that great? It actually looks pretty cool at the moment with the with the random kelp forest ringing around the entire lake. But it's not the thing. It's not a thing that I want to keep. I, I have better plans for this with the coral reef. So I guess I have to get rid of the whole thing. But I am glad to say that the entire lake is full of source blocks now. That's exactly what I wanted. And it means I won't have to deal with flowing water issues when placing coral blocks because we all know how they like to die if they suddenly find themselves in their pockets of air. So yeah, uh, I also got two scoots from that. I had some turtles hatch and they grew up um, nearby me and I managed to pick up their scoots. 
and it's not enough for a turtle helmet, but I will get that turtle helmet eventually. And I've never had a turtle helmet before, so it'll be good to see that what that looks like on my character. But yeah, I've, um, the turtles that hatched were mostly around this island, but I think it, I think that's pretty cool. I guess this is basically a turtle island now with a giant creeper tree on it. These ones didn't hatch, but they're very close to hatching. And I've still got plenty of turtle eggs elsewhere around the lake. So I can get three more scoots for the turtle helmet eventually too, which is very good news. But yes, let's uh, let's just go and break all of the kelp around here. We'll keep some of it, but most of it I think I'll let these spawn. Let's get rid of all this stuff. And here we go, coming up to the end, and we're done. And I think those turtles hatched right in front of me. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, well, they're so small too. Um. Okay, well, while they're gone, I'll just replace that. There we go. Very nice. But yes, the entire lake has now been decalpified. <laughs> uh, what, what, what am I doing with my life? Oh, look at the little turtle over here. Oh. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> oh, I wish there was a way to just keep turtles in their baby form because... These are absolutely adorable, but I, it's just going to grow up. Oh. Now, I have realised something with the, the crops that I get from this farm, and I should definitely be sending most of these items straight to a composter. And I know I can do that with redstone, and I will do it at some point. Like, all of that bread? Useless. May as well compost it. And I'm also getting a huge overflow in potatoes and beetroots, so, you know, why not compost it? Like, I don't need, like, more than a double chest of these things. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to link this whole farm up to, uh, an item sort of thing, I guess. And then the overflow will take it straight into a composter. And then I can get a lot of bone meal out of this too. I'll be drowning in bone meal by the end of this world, I swear. <laughs> uh. Oh, here's another scoop. That makes three. Excellent. Two more, and I can get the turtle helmet. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Right, so I need more coral blocks, so I don't think I actually have enough. I have two shulkers, like just a little over two shulkers, but I suspect I need a lot more. So, to the coral reef! Hello, coral reef. <laughs> I might have actually already gotten enough coral blocks, but you know, there's never there's never any knowing until you've actually run out. So to make sure that I have enough, I guess I'll harvest a bit more of this coral reef. So uh, let, let's kick start that time lapse off. Let's go. Welcome back everyone, I now have a lot of coral, so <laughs> I've now got four shulkers total of just coral blocks, which in my opinion is probably way too much for this lake project, but it'll it'll give me enough to for future projects too, which is something to look forward to I guess. But yeah, I'm glad that I have this stuff now. So all the coral fans and I've got sea pickles and stuff like that, lovely stuff I guess. And then all of these are coral blocks. Oh. So they, they're such a pain to farm, so you, you can't automatically farm these things. You have to go out and destroy the biome, which I'm not too happy about. But I realised that it is sort of realistic to real life in that way. I guess that's a shame. But I understand the reasoning behind it. Now, I'm also going to need to use a lot of these nether wood blocks. And also a lot of these nether wart blocks as well. So I'll take this block, and then this is also red nether wart, so I'll take that too. And we'll use these at some point during the lake as well. Because one thing I think people are missing out on is these new nether blocks. They can totally go underwater. <laughs> oh, when I first saw these things, I was like, oh my goodness, they can go with coral reefs. So yeah, now I've got these uh, all of these nether resources to go with the rest of the coral blocks. And we'll see how that turns out soon. And I'm, I'm sure I can convert most of you into using these things underwater as well. And one thing I'd also like to do is I'd like to upgrade this sheep farm by uh, adding a lot, lot of hoppers to this thing so that I can actually expand on the storage before they fill up on that first double chest at the top layer. So for that, I'm going to take all of this iron that I got from the last episode and from previous episodes, and I've gotten quite a lot at the moment, despite not having an iron farm, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I think I've got some in the redstone box as well. Let's just take that out. 
Uh, let's just ditch the uh, the phantom membranes. Do not need those. And there we go. All of that iron is mine. So that is a lot of hoppers for me, and I'm very happy about that. So yeah, I guess uh, I just need to dig behind here, find where the chests are, and uh, place the hoppers in. There we go. And another thing I would like to do, I'd, be, I'd like to be able to have a system that sends in a lot of shears to these dispensers so that I can just ignore this for a very long time and hopefully the sheep will never, the dispensers will never run out of shears. So the way to do that is you just need to break one of these glass blocks above the dispensers and just stick a barrel on top of it and just fill the whole thing with shears. And I don't have enough iron to do that, to fill the entire thing with shears, but I'll, it's enough for me to make a start on this. So let's just put some hoppers on top of these, like so, and then just put some chests up here. Um, do I want barrels? I think I want barrels. I think barrels will be a lot better. And they won't be as laggy either. <laughs> there we go. Barrelifying the whole thing. This is much better, I think. So I should just be able to stick some shears in here, some extra ones, and it's not enough to fill the entire barrel by any means, in fact none of the shears are even staying in the barrel, but it's enough for me to know that I don't have to worry about running out of shears at any point in time. So that's good news, I guess. This sheep farm has officially been upgraded, which I am very happy about. I guess now the only thing to do is to add some more modules for the colours that I actually think I'll use a lot of in this world, <laughs> like green and black and light grey. Oh, oh, I've just found another scoot! Gotta get that. Just one more for a turtle helmet. Uh, if that, if one of those turtles grew up recently, then there might be another scoot somewhere around in this lake, somewhere. So, just gotta look out for that now. Oh, there it is! Oh, it's two scoots, actually. Okay, that's enough for a turtle helmet. Oh, I'm glad about that. Oh, that's, that's really great. Let, let's make that now. Get those scoots in my inventory. Six scoots in total, so I've got a one spare, I don't know if I'll need that for anything. But here we go, turtle shell. Let's see what I look like with this. Let's just stick that on there, and... Oh. This is a... this is a new look for sure. <laughs> My eyebrows have gone. <laughs> this is... This is so different. Just removing that one layer of pixels around my head. <laughs> and it's it's a completely new look for me. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna take that off for now. I don't actually want to wear this turtle shell all the time, but it's, it's, it's a fun thing to have, I think. And another thing I would like to do today is, seeming as I have the iron now, I can upgrade the storage area for my creeper farm in exactly the same way as I did with the sheep farm just then. So I'll just harvest this iron because I I still don't have an iron farm. <laughs> and uh, then I will link up a lot of these chests up to hoppers as well. We'll just place in the chests. Let's we'll just place in the hoppers. And there we go. That is the system done. This can store so much gunpowder now. And I won't have to check on this so often. So I often feel like I'm walking in here and just finding the thing entirely full. I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. But yeah, I, I'm I'm glad that I've done that now though. You know, I'll, I'll probably have to come in here at some point in the future and just give the entire room a makeover because at the moment it's just a, it's basically just a cave. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I guess the thing I should work on now is the coral reef. So it's going to be entirely custom. There's going to be some nether stuff in there as well. And I think I'm going to leave in some default coral structures as well as some of my own structures. And I think that will turn out well. And I'm also going to have to add in some kelp and some seagrass as well. And I just think that doing that will really add to like the fantastical element that I've got going on with the creeper tree <laughs> in the middle of the lake. So yeah, I, I, I think this will turn out well. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. <laughs>
and welcome back everyone! <laughs> uh, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I love the look of this thing. I mean, I think you, you all already know that I, I really like coral reefs. But yeah, this has turned out really well. And the best part is, it's living. I have so many sea turtles just swimming around this thing and just lounging around on the island in the middle too. It's, it's great, I love it. I'm proud of what I've done today. But yeah, to show you what I've done, so I've gotten some default coral structures, but I mixed the blocks up as well, so this is like one of the spiky coral things that you'd find in a coral reef, and I've gotten various other default structures in here as well, but I've also got a lot of custom stuff, like this thing here, um, I'm, I'm not really sure what this is, but <laughs> it, it's what just comes out of my head, and then I quite liked just sort of laying it out on the ground and just sort of spiking it up another block in a couple places. I think that turned out really well in quite a few places. It almost feels like a proper coral reef when I do that, like a real one. And I'm, I'm really happy with how the, the nether blocks have added to this place as well. Like this this nether tree, this red nether wart tree, it doesn't look out of place in the slightest. I hope I can convert a lot of you viewers to use these things underwater because while they're not made for underwater, they look so good underwater. It's like, why not? And then I've also got this enderman over here on his plinth, his nice shiny quartz plinth. This is, uh, well, I'd say it was expensive, but I have a 32 stonemason villages. <laughs> and yeah, this guy is uh, sitting here contently. I think he's loving life here. One of the things I've used at the bottom of this plinth is uh, quartz brick blocks. And I've got to say, I love this block, but... I just wish Moyang had decided to add slabs and stair variants of it, because at the moment, I think it's the only brick block in the game which doesn't have those. It's just kind of disappointing, really, that, that that's the case. But I am very happy that I still have these brick blocks of quartz, because I, I do like bricks. <laughs> I do like bricks in this game. I think this, this, this lake project has turned out really well, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And I forgot to mention this last episode, but I have this new shulker box, and it's my spare tools box. So I'm going to put all of the pickaxes, shovels, axes, hoes in here. So yeah, that's that's what I've got going on at the moment. Uh, two of these hoes are silk touch, one is a fortune. And I've got in these axes over here, and over time I'll fill that box to the full. And yeah, at some point I hope to see it complete. And I'm happy to say that I got a lot of creeper name suggestions in the last episode. Uh, not enough to completely finish off the tree, but enough to make sure that I'm well over halfway, I think. <laughs> so, I just wanted to thank you all for doing that, for giving me all of your suggestions. And yeah, I'll say which ones you've all said. So the first one I got was Pink Panther. Thank you very much. Oh, I've just broken my handle. <laughs> That's okay, I thought that would happen, so I made a new one. <laughs> I also got Danger Walking TNT, so that's going to be a creeper. And Gerald, Lamp Post, Alpha Creeper, no, Alpha Creep, sorry. Aw oh, man! And Barry McBarryson. So, just may as well name these guys. The ones that haven't been completed are the ones that have dirt blocks around their little creeper trap, creeper trap holes. So, let's just remove these dirt blocks so that these can be marked as complete. And I'll do that for the rest of them. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of mobs over there. <laughs> They're all in this one tiny little space over here. <laughs> oh, I've got to I've got to light that up. But yeah, I'm I'm happy that I've now got angles on the tree which involve no dirt blocks. That's very cool. 9 10 11 12. That's 12 creepers that still need naming. So if you folks fancy giving me a suggestion, let me know. I'll consider it. If I like it, then congrats, your name will be chosen. Oh, I love having this enderman just in the middle of this lake. <laughs> He's so out of his element. <laughs> uh, he shouldn't have trapped himself there. I bet he's regretting that now. I love the fact that I've got these sea turtles swimming around me in this lake. It's it's such a great addition. And I just, I'm glad I did it, because I can't have fish here, because they just escape. I even placed four tropical fish in the last episode. I have no idea where they are now. They've gone. <laughs> but yeah, now I've got sea turtles, and they won't leave me. I will never be alone in this place, and this place is alive now. I'm I'm so happy with this place. I, I love it. It definitely feels alive now. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, then be sure to leave a like. And if you enjoyed my content, then why not subscribe? I'd be happy to have you all around for the ride. But on that note, bye! Thank you for watching.